This is my Kawasaki Ninja 500R Turbo. This is a original engine. I've gone and lowered the compression with it. Um, bumped the oil pressure up a little bit. Here's the turbo. It's a VZ21. Boost controller in here. Charge tube. This is the headers. Turn to the turbo manifold. in there. Blow off valve here. Adjustable. Charge tube goes into the intercooler. This is a carbon fiber tank. So the intercooler is where the original earbox was. So here's the layout on top. So you've got the intercooler core here coming around. Turns around the back, comes over the top here, splits into two, into each throttle body. So here's the injector here injector bodies and to this manifold here so fuel in here this is um, fuel pressure I'm checking fuel filter splits out to each injector up and then these two go back to the regulator in the tank tanks not on it obviously um, throttle position and um, inlet air temp sensor um, so I've had to add a cam sensor here to make it sequential injection. This is a Subaru um, crank sensor. I adapted to that and I machined the cam to give it a single load. Um, and then the <coughs> cylinder head temperature down in here. And the other side. So this is the connection to the micro skirt. I had to make this carbon tank seat mount because it wouldn't clear the clear the intercooler originally. So this here's the micro squirt. It's a very nice little system for a two-cylinder engine. The fuel pump is a Delco fuel pump. It's an in-tank pump that I've made external by making these ends for it. So fuel in from the tank, fuel out, the fuel rails. A quick disconnect to be able to get the tank on and off it for the fuel. Back into where the turbo sits there. Stainless, there's a stainless shield on the front of the turbo to keep the, the hot side hot. Stop trying to cool that because you lose efficiency. And then one and a half inch turbo tailpipe out into a single muffler. Um, I'm having trouble getting the auction sensor to work right now, so I'm trying to plug the auction sensor into the tailpipe, see if that'll do anything. But right now it's a problem for me. So there you have it. And just an extra gauge on the dash for um, fuel pressure. So I've got to get set fuel pressure correctly.